Hey diesel fans, DB and Will with Diesel Power Source. Today, we're gonna to give you a lesson on wastegates. Hey, ever wondered what a wastegate is or what it does? Well, today, we're gonna to take you on the inside of a wastegate. We're gonna show you exactly how it works and you're gonna know what it does. Uh, let me pull the turbo off to show the exhaust housings or the turbine housings. We have two different styles of wastegate here. Both are wastegates. This is a boost pressure gate. This is a spring gate or a drive pressure gate. Essentially, the exhaust enters through the end of the turbine housing through the exhaust manifold, goes around the scroll, exits the scroll through this slot. Here we have a cutaway of the exhaust housing. We have a cutaway of a turbocharger. Um, as the exhaust enters, the turbine through the scroll, it spins the turbocharger and goes down out the exhaust. What a wastegate does essentially is it has, in this case, two, two wastegate valves in ours. They flow 22 pounds a minute, which enables this turbine housing to act as a much larger turbine housing on high end, but yet allows it to spool up quickly. As the valve opens, it allows the exhaust to bypass the turbine and go down the exhaust. So it wastes the exhaust down the exhaust pipe does not put it through the turbine wheel. By doing this, it does a few things. One, it controls the turbo speed, it controls the boost pressure, and it allows air, more airflow through the exhaust housing. Let me grab an air gun, I'm gonna show you something. And show you how this cycles. This is basically how a wastegate cycles. As boost pressure hits it, it opens and closes just like this. Uh, you don't wanna do this with too high a pressure because you can burst the diaphragm inside. Let me show you really quickly what the diaphragm actually is. It's a silicone diaphragm. It's counteracted by a spring. So as boost pressure comes in here, it simply forces the pressure to go beyond what the spring is holding it closed at. And that's how you set your wastegate pressures with this style. A shorter rod will equal higher boost pressure. So as you shorten the rod, it equals higher boost pressure. Uh, here's a uh, a spring gate, the difference between the spring gate and the other is how it opens. They both open the wastegate the same, just a spring gate does it off of exhaust pressure, exerting pressure on the inside of the valves. Where a boost gate operates off of boost pressure that where it would normally be connected to the turbo right here. And that's essentially how a wastegate works. 